Hey everyone, today I'm bringing you a review on the six lipsticks from the MAC Cosmetics Playland Collection. Um, so that probably explains the get up. I was trying to get into character to be as playful and as crazy looking as that lady on the giraffe. I still, I still can't get over that. So we have six lipsticks and they range from pretty crazy and wild, like Playland, all the way up to your normal shades of red and pink and light pink, really dupable shades and I'm going to explain why. So are these shades worth picking up? We'll see. Let's start with the first shade which is a frost and it's called um, it's called Playland. Now this is the title lipstick. It has the same name as the collection itself. And it's a golden lipstick. And a lot of you, if you've been around with MAC for a while, probably when you got this lipstick, if you got it or you've seen swatches, you probably thought, well, this is what I expected Rufian Gold to look like. Rufian, Rufian. Which released, um, I believe it was in 2012. I think it was. And that was a golden frost shade. And I believe that this is what people were expecting. Now this shade, since it is a frost, is not going to be a full-on yellow. It is going to be a frosty golden shade. Very pretty, very reflective. You'll see in the photo swatches that when you put this over your lips, if you layer it on just slightly, like maybe two, three swipes, you're going to get full opacity. This was two swipes. I'll do one swipe above so you can see the difference. So that's one swipe and two. So two swipes is pretty much the same, but you can definitely layer this on and get opaque coverage. Now, if you're not comfortable with a bright golden yellow shade of lipstick and you're like, but I want to get this wild lipstick, I want to get this crazy lipstick, how can I get it and get it to work for me? You can always apply it to the center of your lip to add dimension to the lipstick you're already wearing. You can just fully blend it in to lighten out other shades that you may have. Um, and you could also kind of use it over a lip liner. So if you're using it in conjunction with a different kind of lip liner, it's not going to necessarily look as bright and as gold. You can maybe even get it to be like a frosty orange if you use the right lip liner. Maybe even get it to look like who's that chick. I haven't experimented enough to see if I can do that, but I believe you can. And I'm going to have a picture swatch of that at the end of this video, so you'll see it. Now the next shade we have is Toying Around, and this is an amplified shade. So you're going to get a lot of color with this. And this is kind of like a corally pink shade. I feel like we've seen a shade like this before. Now if you are just, you know, you like buying lipstick and everything, you might not you know, you might not need this if you have already a variety of lipstick at your disposal. But if you're somebody that's like you buy only for special occasions and you want to try a new color or you're looking for a bright opaque color, then this collection might be all about you and you might want to pick up Toying Around just because it's a really flattering um, pinky coral. I believe that this shade will look really nice on all skin tones because depending on your skin tone, it changes a little bit. Like on me, it's more pink. On some skin tones, it may be a little bit more orange. But I believe that no matter what skin tone you are, when you put it on, it should it should flatter you. Again, I'm only one skin tone, I can only speak for myself, but I believe this should look good on most people. And you can always shear it out or pair it with your Playland if you want to give it that dimension. I'm going to show you what I mean real quickly. Um, so here's Playland and I'm applying it just quickly to the center. And you can see it kind of lightened it or made it a little bit more orange. Very slight. So the next shade we have is um, Sweet Experience and this is also an amplified shade. And this is much lighter, so if you were looking for a really pretty baby pink, you might want to pick up this shade again. It's kind of dupable, we've seen colors like this in the permanent collection, but if you are looking to expand your collection, you might want to pick it up. Two swipes, opaque, very pretty, very creamy. Um, amplified finishes usually are neither um, too moisturizing or um, they're not really drying, they're not really moisturizing, but... Um, what you call it, they're not going to crease on your lips, they're not going to bleed most of the time, and you're going to get about five hours of wear from them, which is nice. The next shade I have is Happy Go Lucky. This is also amplified, and this is a bright pink. To be honest, I haven't swatched it against Candy Yum Yum, but it just reminded me of something that's a little bit softer than Candy Yum Yum. Like, it's not as bright, like, it's just not as dark. I mean, not as, uh, you know, not as neon. I feel like this is a more wearable hot pink. If you were looking for a super hot pink, you might want to pick up Happy Go Lucky. The next shade we have is a Red Balloon, and this is also an Amplified. And it's not really too red. It's more of a fuchsia shade that leans pink. 
And again, you're going to have the same amount of wear time, about five hours, two swipe, three swipe opacity. Really doesn't need to be built up, really true to the two. And last but not least, now this is the only shade besides Playland that I feel like you might want to pick up. And this is Head in the Clouds, and this is a little bit of a frosty, because the finish is frost. It's a frosty red that has just slight shimmer and sparkle in it, and two swipes. It's opaque, it's opaque on the lips, but not on the hand. The hand is a little bit deceiving. When I apply this to my lips, my pigmentation shone through, and it helped the red really just look like a red and not really sheer but there's slight sparkle and shimmer in it you can't really see it not even in the picture swatch but if you're in real life and you get the chance to swatch this in store tomorrow by the way they release in store tomorrow in the US you might want to swatch this one on your hand to see exactly what I'm talking about you get that slight shimmer so if you look at the collection as a whole you see it's very feminine shades it's not as scary it may look in the display in the display you see lots of bright bright colors and if you're more of a neutral person you might be like oh my god these are just too bright for me I don't think I can do it. But when you look at them as a whole, you're like, oh, okay, a lot of them are just really feminine soft shades and I can probably get these to work for me. Especially if you pair them with a neutral eye or even if you go for it, even if you pick up, say, the yellow pigment, Ever So Yellow, that's what I did, and you pair it with a bright pink lipstick, it's not gonna look too overdone. Let me take off the bow. Maybe that's distracting. But um, you can get a full face summer look by pairing it with softer eyeshadow tones. So those are all six lipsticks, and I'm going to have picture swatches at the very end. Um, what are you guys picking up? Are you guys picking up any of the lipsticks? Did you feel any of them, or just, you know, we've seen them before? Um, I'm hearing that some of the shades, like this one right here, might be close to Pleasure Bomb. I haven't swatched it um, myself yet, but I'll probably do that. I'll probably include it in the picture swatches, so stay looked at, look out at the end of this video for that. I'll probably do that for you guys, to compare that one to Pleasure Bomb from the Riri collection. Um, if you guys are picking up any of the shades, let me know what you're picking up. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Do you feel like these are too bright? Do you think that MAC really hit it on the head for a great summer collection? Or I assume you're just bored, you know, and you do feel like MAC is just coming out with the same colors over and over and over again. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the picture swatches, and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust. So here's a swatch comparison. This is Pleasure Bomb, and this shade is uh, Red Balloon. As you can see, they're quite close, but... Uh, Pleasure Bomb from Riri MAC collection is much deeper, but they're very close if you are looking for something that's kind of dupable.